Okay, today I was playing around with the latest test release of T-Rex Minor version 0.26.1. Uh, today's date is 11 May 2022. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, they have a, uh, a new test release out available through their Discord. So I said, okay, I got to download it because I was getting a lot of um, crashes, Windows crashes. I run on Windows. I don't run on Hive OS. So I use the Windows version T-Rex Minor 0261 test version. Okay. So I was popping around with MB Minor, playing around. And I was playing around with the T-Rex Minor as well, just setting it so I'd have to use MSI Afterburner. And I'd go through with MSI Afterburner right down here. And I was just tweaking it in first, right? Finding out what the settings can be. I'm doing this, I'm doing this. And you can see some, some of my results over here. Um, like right here, look at all these lines. Each one of those lines is different testing uh, with different uh, overclocks and all this stuff. And then I said, all right, had another bourbon. Bourbon makes you smart for five minutes when it comes to technical stuff. And then you become an idiot again. So did that again tonight. And I went in and I just set the uh, lock core clock setting to 1395 like I did in the previous version of T-Rex Minor. Just set the absolute core clock setting and set the memory clock setting uh, and the fan. No need to set the core, no, no need to set the power level. Even though I set it here at zero, you can see I had it set up here. But when you set it to zero, the absolute core clock will, will handle it anyway. You don't need to set it, but it's just there. It can be removed. But the uh, line above it, the green line, is uh, some of the settings I was playing with, and I got those by messing with MSI Afterburner. Then I had the stupid... Uh, lock core clock on there and that was conflicting I think with the power level setting so I said what am I doing just set the lock core clock setting and try it again I did and now at the bottom I'm getting decent results uh, on my 3080 Ti LHR cards played around with this uh, it, it's looking a lot better just letting the absolute core the the, the uh, lock core clock setting do all the stuff for me uh, I'm getting a little higher results. Some cards are, again, are finicky. Not all of them are going to be 100%. Uh, I was mainly shooting for efficiency with that setting. Because so what you can see here, I'm definitely below uh, 300 watts. I want to stay below 300. I just don't want to chew a lot of power. So I want to be efficient. And I noticed on MB Minor and Nice Ash, when I was running those things, I was trying to dial in the efficiency too by playing with the overclock settings and it was just becoming so tedious and I jotted down those numbers and uh, running this setting what you're looking at right here is giving me one of the best sets of efficiencies on these damn cards that I've seen in a while um, sure I know I could crank the the uh, the, the uh, lock core clock setting and burn more power and jack those up a bit I'm not going to do that I just want to be efficient as a uh, as efficient as possible right now because the power is expensive power is not cheap anywhere I don't know uh, I think I'm paying thir at least 13 kilo uh, 13 kilo 13 cents a kilowatt hour add on taxes uh. so here we are we got 117 I know this car can do 120 I've seen device zero do 120 uh, one thing I was getting a lot of today was TDR errors on Windows which would cause Windows to go uh, B-S-O-D, blue screen of death. Oh, it's driving me nuts. Then I would watch it. I would actually pipe the um, T-Rex log, uh, T-Rex output to a log file. That helped immensely because the screen goes blue. You don't know what the hell happened. You know, you're out having some more bourbon. You come back, it's blue screen. Oh my God, what happened? Well, this time I had a log file. I looked at it and said, oh, couldn't communicate with fan. Could not get fan speed. It was all red, right? It was all red. I said, red's not good. And uh, right after that, blammo, it just crashed. So something, I'm thinking, all right, it's always that card. It was uh, device two, PCIe slot two, GPU device uh, one. So it goes starting at zero. So it's zero, 
one, but it's the second slot, PCIe slot on the motherboard. I go, what is going on? Is this bad? I replaced the riser, the adapter. I uh, still was getting it. And then when I would plug that guy in to the second PCIe slot, PCIe 3 hash rate would drop by a five. I go, this is not right. Something's affecting the other slots. And then uh, the card was always running hot in that slot too. Something's not right in that PCI. It's a bad slot, dirt's in it. I have no idea. All right. So I said, you know, having my bourbon got me a little smarter. I said, let's just not use that damn PCIe slot. Number two, who does number two work for works for me? Because I took that PCIe adapter out, that uh, GPU riser adapter out, swapped out PCIe slot six. I have a, a one to four adapter card. I put that in there just to keep all those uh, ACES, no, what is it? What are those damn things? ROG Strix cards together. And then I uh, put the problematic one that was in a uh, slot two, I put it in six. And what I had to do in the config file, I just, you know, obviously it's what was number one is now number five position on the device list for GPUs. Yeah. So I did that. And uh, thing came right up. The settings you're looking at right here. I might crank that up and play with it, but I want things to be stable first. And uh, version 2.6.1 is supposed to be more stable, which it is now. I hope I don't get blue screen. We've been up 30 minutes almost, which is good. But we got to get past the one hour mark. I think that's when it crashed before. Uh, but when I came right up, all the hash rates were pretty damn decent. They weren't all 112. Uh, I've seen over 700 total hash rate on this rig, which is good. Uh, 690 there went up a little bit. But yeah, I mean, I was fighting to get these by manually tweaking that car, these cards with the overclock settings. So it was just sweet that it just came up. So I'm thinking I have a bad PCIe slot on that motherboard. I'm guessing it has to be. We'll find out if this thing crashes, but it's looking better now. It doesn't seem to be affecting the other cards. Number five here, which was number one slot in GPU number one, moved it down here. Uh, and that slot on the card, the motherboard is empty. So I don't know if you're having trouble things aren't looking good or things seem to be wonky, things are overheating, you're not getting good hash rates, try to isolate the problematic GPU by dumping out your minor log, uh, your minor output to a log file. So if you do get the blue screen of death, you will at least be able to look at your log file and go, oh, this card was kind of acting up, GPU one, couldn't talk to the fan. Yeah, couldn't get the fan speed, it was all in red. What the hell is that? And then blammo, you know, TDR error and uh, blue screen of death and Phone, phone Bill Gates and say, wah, 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 wah. but who knows, right? So yeah, there you go. A little tip on that one. Things are looking decent. Again, my goal now is efficiency and the closer to 400 and above, the better. This little bastard number three has always been a problem. It, again, it could be like they say, the luck of the draw. This one may have uh, just had bad QA or whatever. It's just, it'll bump up to 115, but it's looking good. The temps are terrible on all these cards. The, the memory temps, the outside temps aren't too bad. The key things I like are the hash rate. Again, I was getting 93 mega hash a couple of days ago. So this is awesome. I'm not complaining. I think this is incredible. Uh, like I said, it's like getting 183 mega hash, which is six, six, what? 1660 supers or six, 6600 XT AMD cards. Uh, yeah, without even using hardly any more power, if anything, because these damn cards I was running before were pushing over 300 watts, like 310. And that I went, this is ridiculous. And they were getting really hot, like 106, 104 consistently. So let's talk about that now. These uh, mem temps, they're looking better now. So that's pretty sweet. And I noticed on MB minor, the temps, memory temps were better, but that's all relatives because, because these temps still suck. Uh, I did, as you, if you look, I did have a super hot 3070 Ti uh, burning 110 VMAM. I was horrible. Tried everything, pads, paste, blah, 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 cleaning the thing, taking off the back plate, nothing. Even putting a fan on it, 
direct force air on the thing, no luck. So I got a copper uh, plate stuck on it, used a thermal paste on both sides. Man, that thing dropped 40 degrees Celsius. Copper is the secret sauce, folks, because you install the copper shims or the plate once and you forget about it. You don't have to keep doing it every uh, six months or something. You know, like you have to replace these damn thermal pads, which are not cheap either. You can drop 80 bucks on a set of uh, thermal pads, you know, with thermal paste and all that crap. Uh, you can get a, a copper thermal plate yeah, or make one yourself. You just got to get the right thickness. I think it's 1.06 millimeters, which is 0.06 inches, you can, which is gauge. Help me, help me, help me, gauge. I think it's 16 gauge thick copper sheet you can buy. They're about 20 bucks or so. You can make your own freaking template. You know, just don't short out your board. You got to be careful. You're um, not touching stuff on the board other than the memory. But yeah, otherwise you'll fry your board. <laughs> so you got to be careful. But you can. there's ways to protect it with tape and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so things look good. I'm, I did order some copper sheets, ordered some protective tape uh, for the motherboard so that in case anything moves, uh, it won't short out the board. Or I actually may make a template where I don't have individual like covers for each memory, like shims or, you know, little wafers that cover the memory, like a puzzle. Now, nah, maybe I'll just cut it one whole piece that goes around the chip, the GPU, and just covers covers all the memory. And then I could just apply thermal paste to both sides, slap it on and be done and hope it drops the temperature. Yeah, man, temperature on these things is a pain in the ass. So the goal there is to at least get it below 100. And I think with the copper, I should get it down in the 80s. So I got, um, I actually ordered one. Oh my God, what's it called? One uh, copper plate template. And I'm going to put that on one of these 3080s. They don't make them for the other model. So I'm just going to make my own, uh, you know, get it and just try it, you know, give that a shot. So yeah, copper, if you're concerned about the heat on your, GPUs, again, ambient temperature affects these cards as memory. It's amazing how all these variables go together with your grow tent or wherever your rigs are, open air, closed air, ventilated, uh, positive, negative pressure, humidity. Oh, my God. Ambient temperature is key. Yeah, because I know in the afternoon here, holy crap, things get hot. Sometimes I might just shut the rigs off for an hour or two until the uh, sun goes, goes down and I can fire things back up. Uh, yeah, lots of things affect this. So anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Things are hopefully looking stable. I want to get past the one hour mark. So we got 24 minutes to go. Uh, yeah, 25 minutes, 24 minutes to go yet. And then hopefully this will stay up without getting any Windows TDP error. But I expect it to go blue screen anytime. Whenever I make a, a dumb video like this, uh, yeah, things just die on me, which is good because it shows other people that things crash. All right, that's it. Go check it out. Uh, you got nice hash now. You got NB minor. You have um, Hive OS, which is using NB minor and T Rex minor. I think you can use a test version, I guess. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to speak out of turn on that one. So T Rex minor is still in testing. They have the newer test beta out, 0261, not on their public website yet. They're still testing. And they'll release it probably 5 a.m., 4 a.m. Eastern time. So be uh, if you're on the testing list, you'll get a notification or you can go check the Discord and you can download it and start playing with it. Uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm happy, like I said, with these numbers. And once it's stable, I may start pushing up the uh, lock core clock setting to get a little more juice out of it. Maybe uh, up, the M up the mem clock first to see if that affects it. So yeah, maybe I'll do that. I think the mem clock is probably the better number to tweak first. Because I don't want to mess with power. I want the power to be below the 300 watt level. Anyway, that's all I got, guys. I hope this helps others. And uh, others have posted. And hopefully this video comes out uh, in higher definition. I'm sorry about that. I've been using OBS on a Macintosh. And the resolution defaults. Or it doesn't do any better than, what, 780p or something like that. And it's a nightmare. So on my iPhone, I get super high definition. The iPhone is better than... OBS on a Mac. So I put a setting in here and I think it will now record and uh, output in 1080p. So hopefully you can see this damn uh, console now and read the numbers. Uh, that's the best I can do. The next thing, if it doesn't work, 
is I'm gonna have to switch over to a Windows laptop to record the screen captures because uh, right now I am uh, it's the same I am trying to figure out the difference here yeah it's the same screen I'm remoted in but it shouldn't matter it's the same resolution yeah it looks the same it's just the dumb font you use on these uh, consoles like if you look at this thing consoles 18 uh, it's just a crappy terminal font uh, Windows makes but anyway there you go let me know what you think. What are you mining? How are you looking on your rigs? Are you going to buy any more GPUs now? Are you getting the itch? Like, hey, I can actually make money off my uh, LHR card or go buy a couple. I don't know. Don't fall for the trap because right now, the cards you had that were LHR may ROI by the end of the year. And the cruel thing that could happen, the most worst case scenario, would be if Ethereum goes proof of stake like next week. And then all this is for naught because... Oh crap! You get, it, I was mining Ethereum and getting paid on Bitcoin, and I was unlocking all of my LHR cards for 100% mining, and now I can't even use it on Ethereum. I gotta switch over to Flux or something like that. Oh, who knows? Nobody knows what's gonna happen tomorrow. Just keep mining. Just keep mining until you can't mine anymore. Uh, yeah, buying new GPUs. Try to be disciplined. Think about the ROI. It. I don't know the. Uh, Ethereum mining profitability is under three right now. It's not looking too damn good. So you got to do some research. Just don't go buy stuff for the sake of buying it. You may be better off taking that $500 you'd spend on a GPU and just buy the coin you want and stake it, you know, right? Why, why go in debt hoping you'll get an ROI when you just buy it right now when the markets that are really low and you'll get in low and when the thing shoots to the moon, <laughs> uh, may not, but it may. You never know. It could go up. It could go down. It could go sideways or it could go backwards. That's what every of these stupid uh, YouTube channels say. And I just laugh. I went, people watch it. I watch it for entertainment. Going, wow, it is all entertainment. Do not believe anything people tell you on YouTubes or the interwebs. Do your own research. Use your own co uh, cognitive, critical thinking skills. Uh, it'll make you uh, a better investor, a better miner. You know, doubt but verify. Yeah. And I was brute forcing through this T-Rex miner today, learning from my own stupid mistakes. But I'm telling you, bourbon's the secret sauce that gets it done. All right. On that note, thumb up this video, man. And then share it if you think it's useful. And uh, make a comment. You know, post down there. Uh, mining is fun. Yay. I don't know. Post something that, um, something stupid that you want to post. I don't care. Need some, need some uh, interesting comments to read. All right. I'm out, guys. Take care.